See, when you come across United Nations Environment Program, so first thing which comes here, that is a, it uh, basically comes out with the, this you conventions. Now, whenever a convention is brought by the UNEP, you will come across the word hosted, where UNEP, what mean? The, secretary, the secretariat will be within the UNEP. So, those conventions which are brought by UNEP, so the secretariat of UNEP convention. lie within its a, a domain. That means uh, every matter regarding that convention will be dealt by the UNEP. Let me give you an example. Like for example, for Vienna, you will see in the classroom also, Vienna convention to protect a stratospheric ozone layer. So there is a ozone secretariat which work under UNEP. So, whatever government decides for protection of stratospheric ozone, whatever key decisions are taken, all these are done by the Secretariat of the Vienna Convention under the UNAP. Same way, if you take, uh, for example, example of uh, Basel Convention, which deal with uh, hazardous West, again the Secretariat or the office that lie within the, lies within the UNAP. So, when you say UNAP conventions, it means that all things regarding that particular convention will be dealt by the UNEP. That is the first thing which you have to keep in mind. Now, all conventions are not UNEP. That means all multilateral environmental agreements worldwide do not come under UNEP. Right? Like there are certain exceptions also there. For example, Ramsar. Ramsar convention which looks into protection of wetlands is not EU UNEP convention. That is dealt by UNESCO, UNESCO and IUCN. Again, sometimes uh, when you are reading conventions from current news, current affairs, you should also see that whether what body deals with that convention, what is the host of that convention. Because when you solve multiple choice question, MCQ, one of the choice would be also the name of the organization. If which organization looks into that particular Treaty or convention. So, all conventions are not there. The particular set of like ozone layer, I have said, Vienna is there, UNCCD, United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, right? CBD, then comes here, CITES, CITES, Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species, CMS, Migrant Species, all these are UNEP convention. We will see in the classroom there. So, the first thing is that it brings about convention. Now, what is the second thing here? UNEP, there is a something called UN Environment Assembly. From time to time, there is a very important conference which is organized for assembly. Now, so far, six. UNE assemblies have been organized. Why I brought this one? The sixth one was held this year. That is a UN, this one, assembly six. This was held from 26th February to 1st March 2024. So, let's say UPSC asks question on this. Like the recent assembly. Gap. When UNAP was set up? 1972. If we take this assembly, which is a very important uh, global assembly where all the government, I have said, is universal. 
all governments are members of UNEP. So they again they come to this particular assembly to discuss a lot of areas there. Now this assembly has highlighted, I'll give you the major highlight of this, triple planetary crisis. Triple, this time, it focused on triple planetary. Crisis. And this three crises, in order crisis, are the areas where current views are there at the questions are being asked. So this time UN has come out with the part of multilateralism. That means how the governments can cooperate each other to tackle these three challenges, which you all are aware of it. I'll write it down here. If you look at these three challenges or crisis, the first area is climate change. Discussion on climate change, how to tackle this challenge at the global level. Second challenge, you are aware of this, pollution and waste. And the third challenge, that is a nature and biodiversity loss nature and biodiversity loss. Now, whenever such kind of a assembly is organized, it also comes out with reports. There is something called global outlook reports. Right? Global outlook reports. Now, this assembly brought two, I write here, it has given two outlook reports. You know, sometimes you will find in the prelims exam even a direct question. A report is given and asked which organization comes out with the report. So, first report that is on resources, global resources outlook report. The first report which has been brought by the UAP during this uh, assembly was is a global resources outlook report. Now, what does this outlook report have? It gives a kind of review, complete global scenario. Let's say when you say resources, it gives complete global scenario with respect to forest, what land, right? How much? What are the problems are there? And also suggest measures. Why this assembly is organized so that governments and the representatives are able to get into those areas and take action. So this is where the assembly is organized. So first important outlook report is resources. And second is a very, very important, that's why it always comes in the news, that is a global waste management outlook report. And this particular outlook report Global Waste Management Outlook Report brought by United Nations Environment Assembly focus on solid waste. What is the focus area of this report? The garbage. The way the garbage is given. And I will give you just a data there. According to this Global Solid Waste Management Outlook Report or Waste Management Outlook Report says that 2023 it was 2.3 billion tons of solid waste generated worldwide and it is expected to grow 3.8 billion tons by 2030. See whenever such report will be, there will be some kind of data. So we are now in 2024, assembly was organized in 2024, so the next six years is going to add further 1 billion tons. This is a global worldwide, right? It is also says that waste management cost, if you look at cost by governments, that goes to 500 billion US dollar to manage such garbage. So now I am bringing a very important area where you would get questions. See, one question could be was, you get direct question, report, organization. To which organization? UNE, United Nations Environment Assembly. Second thing, what comes here? Second thing where the question can be asked, that based on the findings, what are the key outcomes? 
So I've said these are the three triple crises of the planet. There the focus is there. Now what is the here which I would like to just add about this is that this assembly looking to all discussion by government has a, a very key area that is the in terms of which is making a lot of headline circular economy. It has focused on circular economy. That means global level government should go for circular economy. That's why I said no, environment is a subject which is connected with every area of gender studies. Now, who will tell me what is circular economy? Now, see what I'm saying here. Environment, what is asking? Environment, this assembly focus in these three key areas. You have to tackle the challenges. Brought two report, out two reports. One resources, second on the waste management. In the waste management part, government discussed about circular economy. See, circular economy, you should not think this is the only. Circular economy in general is being discussed across various platforms. Various bodies are there. Various platforms are there. Right? One of the, even this platform also addressed circular economy. 